I am currently working as external auditor in digital enterprise and industry. I work in the European Code of Auditors in Luxembourg and uh, I work in the internal policies and banking units. I work in the Directorate General for Home Affairs and I'm a program manager for borders and immigration. We do uh, the financial audits of several DGs, Director Generals in the uh, Commission. Just yesterday, in fact, I came back from a mission to Madrid where I was auditing a beneficiary. We stayed there for a couple of days and it was not such an easy project, but it's it's a challenge in this job that I actually quite appreciate. I completed my undergraduate studies in Boston, Boston University in the United States. I studied international relations and Middle Eastern studies. And then I went to England at the University of Reading where I studied development finance. Mathematics and economics. I graduated in 2007. I studied economics and political science. I studied economics in Stockholm School of Economics in Riga for a bachelor's degree and then uh, I studied political science or other EU studies to be very precise in the College of Europe in Natalin which is located in Warsaw in Poland. What I really like is that when I go on a mission then usually I'm the responsible auditor for the, for the mission so it means that I'm in charge of a small team and I have to really um, negotiate sometimes and sometimes it can be tough negotiation with the beneficiary and to really kind of be very careful and at the same time uh, proactive in, in doing my work and I really enjoy that. I find my job very interesting in the sense that it has this international aspect and that was also something very important for me uh, before I came that I would have this extra to my work. My jobs, both of them, have taken me to the, some remote places in the, in the countries where we went, we went primarily to visit the projects uh, that we were controlling or managing. In the, in, I went to Poland to the border with the Kaliningrad uh, region, for example, uh, in Lithuania, to the UK, to Portugal. Uh, to Greece, to all the regions, to visit some uh, museums, airports, uh, bridges, uh, roads that uh, the fans were building in the region. We met the people, we developed great uh, contacts with the uh, people accompanying us from the capitals and we saw the impact that the fans make uh, in the regions and uh, in the country overall. In order for an audit visit to run smoothly, uh, you have to, to be good at communications and to be good at asking the right questions, also to be say, more efficient on spot and to get the best information needed for your work. I have made some recommendations in my role as an internal auditor that were implemented and that actually sort of touch upon everybody in the commission. Um, so that's kind of cool when people who you don't know actually you know, are affected by your work. In my current job in the external audit, uh, in fact, uh, we are supposed to do about 10 missions per year. So that means one mission per month, except the holiday months or the holiday periods. And usually I go inside Europe, so but it's a new, more or less new country every month. Frankfurt, London, um, also to Brussels, of course, a lot, because our biggest ODT is in Brussels, the Commission. Um, and also I have been in Denmark uh, quite a few times on audits because I do have, of course, a language advantage there. Normally the work language is in English, but it depends really because if you go out in, in the countries and talk with the public administration in the countries, some countries they they do not uh, want to have meetings in English and therefore you do talk in in their language and maybe take uh, with you a translator. I, uh, well, mostly use English and French. In fact, we speak uh, informally more in French, but uh, usually documents are produced in English. Um, I also sometimes get to use my other languages. I speak Spanish. I learned Spanish in the Commission, in fact, and sometimes um, I have a chance to use that. Estonian, my other language, and Russian, uh, I don't use that much. I think uh, the European Union is a great place to learn languages because you have all opportunities to, uh, to learn more. 
and also to challenge yourself by taking these visits, going on these visits in the different countries. There is a lot of young colleagues with interesting experiences, people who have traveled uh, the world, have studied abroad, uh, really it's very interesting and uh, you can meet people from all the, all the EU countries. Mm -hmm.